Hi, I'm Kim Edwards, and I'm here to talk about my new book, The Lake of Dreams. I'm the author of The Memory Keeper's Daughter, and like The Memory Keeper's Daughter, my new novel, The Lake of Dreams, has a secret at the center of the story. But unlike The Memory Keeper's Daughter, nobody in the novel, uh, including the reader, knows the secret going in. This is the story of Lucy Jarrett, who, when the, it's her story, she's the narrator, and when the novel opens, she's about 29 years old, living in Japan, at a crossroads in her life. Um, she's unemployed, she's a scientist, and is between jobs. She's in a relationship and not sure where it's going. And she gets a call to, that her mother has been um, in a minor car accident back in her hometown in upstate New York in a place called the Lake of Dreams. So Lucy decides to go home to visit. She's been home only seldom during the last 10 years. The la when she Just the summer before she left um, for school, her father drowned in a boating accident. And she hasn't really ever quite resolved her feelings about that, her feelings of responsibility and some guilt. So she goes back to the Lake of Dreams. And what she finds there on her first night is a collection of pamphlets that have to do with the suffragette movement. And within those pamphlets, even more interesting to Lucy, she finds fragments of letters that indicate um, that there's an ancestor that uh, she has never known about, uh, a woman who's been cut out of the family stories. So this discovery sends Lucy on a quest to find out about this lost ancestor, who she is, and her quest takes her through churches and uh, buildings with stained glass windows in them because some of the clues she finds are in archives and some are in stained glass windows. And ultimately she does find the story of her ancestor, her lost ancestor, is a compelling story, a vivid story and full of heartbreak, but it also um, it, it, informs Lucy's understanding of her own family and of herself and helps her resolve some of the lingering um, sadness that she had felt and to understand her family and herself in a new way. Wow. And what inspired you to write this book? Well, I think I first started thinking about it um, many, many years ago when Haley's Comet first came uh, or came by in 1986. Um, I thought it would be really interesting to, ha to have the comet as a device to tie an intergenerational novel together. And um, so the, the prologue opens with a glimpse of Lucy's ancestor um, watching the comet in uh, 1910 when it came by. And it was very vivid that year, very striking. Um, and it was a, uh, a moment of her ancestor's life that begins this novel, and then the comet appears years later on in the book.